to my channel. If you're new, subscribe. If you're old, welcome back. I have a little bit of a different lighting setup. I don't know, maybe I'll talk a little louder. Let's see if I can. Audio, this is I Dip for Fun. I'm Renee, you're a lesbian dipper. Today I got something special for you that um, Grizzly just released their new can. So I only have the dark wintergreen. They do make the dark, they do have a dark mint one as well. So, and here it is. The, the Patriot can. With all this inside is a promotional thing. I'm not a big fan of dark wintergreen, but I had to get it. Now let's see. I have not opened this, I got this a couple days ago. Just got super busy about doing a review on it, so you know. Ah, damn, that is sick. I like the camel ones and the one they did with the fish skins on it. This one is sick because they kept the grizzly. See, look, this one is sick because the grizzly is just straight. Cool, I like that. They kept the grizzly different color. In this is a sick ass can. The lid is the sickest part about this. Not because they just removed the one of them. I don't need a big ass one of them on this song, bitch. A hundred. Ooh, I love that. Look on the. I don't know if you guys can see that right on the top of the grizzly. It says right there, on the top, right on top of Chris, it says, a hundred percent American tobacco. Now that's what I like to see. I don't need none of this boring tobacco, none of this stuff. Long cut, dark winter green. And we get 50 percent, 50 cents off. And today we got the orange hunter of my junk. I'm gonna get, a, I'm gonna get two more of my junk Right now, no, we're not. So, I want to incorporate other things. So, okay. Uh, I want to incorporate other things into my channel. You know, reviews and stuff, not just different water well, reviews, you know, like. We talk about the dip, throw in a lip, let it sit for a little bit, talk about something else. You know, maybe talk about, maybe tell some scary stories. Take out, I don't know. I don't want to make a whole video. Just trick that. It gets boring after a while. But, I'll dip fun with them. They're not. You're dipping too serious. You got to tone down and dip for fun. Because on this channel, we dip for fun. I think that's just this beautiful can. That's a sick ass can. The, the mint is a blue iron anodized can. Maybe I'll pick that up, but I don't know. Cause I don't dip mint, so I don't know. They even put it on the back, the warning label. Like they got the warning label everywhere. Let's get the warning label. I guess not, because it's on the bottom. Right? It's not the butt. <laughs> Let's crack this on beach open. I think I cut my nails. I got it. I got another nail. I think I got it. I had it. This one actually worked. There we go. Why do I pack it upside down? Because that's the easiest way to dig my nail into it. It's hard to dig my nail like that. That's why we dip it. That winter green. Look at that, that winter green, the dark winter green. Let me know in the comments below if any of you are a daily dipper of grizzly, winter green, or dark winter green. I mostly dip winter greens. So, that big enough? That was a big one, I used to do that big. Just a little small bit. Was it good yet? I'm gonna keep it big. Good. Unless, I don't know, we don't need to really review this. You want the worst dip out there. Mm. I got a spirit of Halloween. We're gonna do some, I'm gonna tell you some murder stories. This one? Uh, you might be paying it. The Acid Bath Murderer. That's what this one is. George 
John George Hyde was a murderer in the UK in the 1940s who thought he could avoid getting caught if there were no bodies. So he dissolved his victims in baths of acid. And unfortunately, there were still quite a bit of evidence. To prove that to prove he killed six people, so he was executed. Can't use acid. This was the Rain or Raynard murders. In June 1979, Pennsylvania High School principal J. C. Smith murdered his co-worker Susan Rain Raynard. Her body was found weeks later in her car. Her kids went missing too, but their bodies were never found. Smith believes to be <sighs> Smith was believed to be conspiring with Reinhardt's boyfriend of the time to inherit Reinhardt's life insurance. People would do anything to do whatever they want. To, to, when it comes to money, people would do anything. Mm. Elizabeth Bathory, uh, also known as the Blood Countess. Well, the Blood Countess. In the, in the 1600s, Bathory is often referred to as the most prolific female serial killer of all time. She killed over 650 young men with the help of four other people and would bathe them in the blood of virgins to stay young. Well, shit. Murder of Junko Furuta. In November 1988, 17-year-old Junko Furuta was kidnapped by four boys and held hostage in one of their homes in Tokyo. After being beaten, raped, and tortured, that he tortured her for 44 days. The boys tossed her lifeless body into a giant drum filled with concrete just off of Damn. One thing is, what do all these people find the time? I'm always working. I ain't got time to do this shit. They got a lot of time on their hands. Everybody got a hobby, I guess. I don't know. The Shoe Fetish Slayer. This is an old guy. I'm gonna check it out. Right <laughs> Jeffrey Bordis. Jerry Bordis abducted. Welcome to them. I don't know. And murdered four women. He claimed that women's shoes were his substitute for pornographic and used the service foot of one of his victims to model shoes in his home. Police also found several breasts being used as paperweights in his home, so fuck. He used breast and paperweights? Oh my god. Cleveland Torso Murders. I'm gonna do one more. Cleveland Torso Murders, Kingsbury Run Murders. Someone killed and dismembered at least 12, 12 people in 1930s, and the killer was never found. Body parts were scattered all over Cleveland. The first part found by his kids in the field, and only two of the victims were identified. Damn, 12. Only two were identified. Ain't that crazy? I'm gonna watch the wood chip murder. We're gonna do this one. After learning of her husband's multiple affairs, Hell Kraft went missing in, in November 1986. A snowplow driver later told police he'd seen Kraft's husband under a wood chipper recently in the woods. The human remains were soon found that confirmed that her body had been frozen and then put through a wood chipper. The case suspiciously was inspired for a movie. Messed up people all over this world. So, yeah. Um, I'm hoping to do like a reaction thing on my video where you can actually watch it while I'm reacting to it and dipping at the same time. But for now, I'm just reading the stories. I'll hopefully have that next week. I keep telling you next week, but I get busy, so I'll try to figure it out. But until then, make sure you guys go pick this up at your local gas station. As far as I know, it's only the dark winter green and the dark mint they're doing this so far. Those are the only flavors that have this can. So, till then, I'm Renee, your lesbian dipper. You guys keep dipping for fun. Peace.